Designed in the early 1920s, the Bernelli RB1, commonly known as the Remington Bernelli Airliner, was an early American passenger biplane prototype. It was designed by Vincent Bernelli and incorporated his characteristic lifting body design, which allowed for better performance as the fuselage also provided up to 50% more lift. Due to the aerofoil-like shape of the Bernelli RB1's lifting body, the fuselage contributed approximately 30% of total lift. The construction of the fuselage, however, was quite standard for the time. The fuselage had two plywood frames for structure, and these were covered in a skin of corrugated duralumin. The main power source for the aircraft was a pair of V-12 Liberty engines, each producing 400 horsepower and turning a two-bladed wooden propeller. These engines were largely buried in the leading edge of the body. The propellers were positioned 10 feet 4 inches apart, with only one inch of clearance between the propeller discs. The pilot sat directly behind the engines in a side-by-side -side pair of open cockpits. Beside each pilot sat a mechanic, who was easily able to access the engines due to their location. The cabin could hold up to 30 passengers, and was 14 feet wide and 41 feet long. The aircraft was a single bay equal span biplane without stagger. The interplanar struts were vertical and parallel. The wings themselves were made of wood and were covered in fabric. Both the upper and lower wings had ailerons. Lateral stability was provided by a pair of side-mounted balanced rudders and a set of mid-fuselage-mounted tailplanes, these carrying the balanced elevators. The RB-1 made its maiden flight on June 21, 1921 at Curtis Field, Long Island. It was piloted by Bert Acosta and William P. Sullivan, and during the flight it was deemed that the performance of the aircraft was acceptable. Unfortunately, the aircraft would soon be damaged severely by a storm while on the ground. The Bernelli RB-2 was, in terms of outward appearance, very similar to the RB-1. It possessed the same lifting body design with the same wing structure and engine placement. However, unlike the RB-1's V-12 Liberty engines with 400 horsepower, the RB-2 would be powered by two Galloway Atlantic engines, each producing 650 horsepower. The plywood structure was replaced with a metal one, and the empty weight was brought from 4 tons to 5. At the time, it was the world's largest commercial freight aircraft with its fuselage being large enough to be able to carry either a motor car or seats for 25 passengers. In 1925, the aircraft was used by the Hudson Motor Car Company as a flying showroom, where they showcased their X6 automobile. The fate of the RB2 is not known for certain, with claims made that it was scrapped and claims made that it crashed or destroyed.